animals sometimes. Right? So much fun. Hajime! Arizona Vlog Part 2. Yay! Down in Arizona, I got a lot of training in, but it wasn't very consistent at certain places. I did my circuit on a jungle gym, but my GoPro got too hot and did not work. Stupid Arizona sun. Every time I did weights, I did it at Gold's Gym. I've been lifting in Gold's Gym because ASU would not let me lift in their weight room facility. Thanks, ASU. I got in, kind of told them my story a little bit, and they were like, Hey man, you just left it free, that's awesome, here you go. My story today talks about as I walk into the doors, I see a giant man bicep curling in the squat rack. Okay kids, if you guys are ever done with track, and you start lifting in a public gym, there are 50 exercise places to do bicep curls, which in my opinion is a useless exercise anyways. So please, just don't lift in the squat rack. Ah, it drives me insane. I was a little irritated walking in, and as I started doing power cleans, and nobody knows what those are. At a place like this, one guy comes up to me, he's a power lifter and just goes, hell yeah for explosive lifts, man. Boom, gave me a fist pump, made my day, because explosive lifts are where it is at. That's my story about Gold's Gym. Okay, see you later, bye. Here's the funny shirt of the week. Serial killer! Got it, cause it's funny. Uh, one day me and Riley went out and he let me go to where he found a place to train down in Arizona. So people are asking, oh, you got anybody to train with down there while you're down? I said, like, oh, Sean's down here, we're getting no crew back there. <laughs> the old NDSU no deck. Remember Riley, the US national champion last year, world team member, and bowling triathlon champion. It was nice to be outside and everyone was warning us that it was too hot and we should put our shirts back on. I'm not sure if they were worried about us getting sunburned or if they just didn't like seeing our white bodies. <laughs> Either or, uh, we left the shirts off, but I kept the um, awesome Peter Pan pants on the whole time. Riley, we're half done. Half done? Got weights, right? Yeah, weights is the best part. Yeah, weights. Yeah, weights, my leg's already shot, all right. <laughs> One night, uh, my very good friends Wade and Becky, who are the two people who taught me how to skydive in Fargo, they live down in Arizona now, and they're like, Sean, just come out and check out this amateur bull riding, it'll be awesome. And I thought, bull riding is kind of sweet when it's not amateurs, because those guys stay on the bull. But in amateur bull riding, there will be carnage, and it will be awesome. And I was expecting carnage. But there was this bull, and his name was Candy Crush and Candy Crush was more like a quarter uh, bull riding machine. Like you put a quarter in him and he goes, Hey guys, I'm really happy to be getting some attention and someone to be riding on my back right now. I'll show you a stroll around the pen. <laughs> and at one point I think he even stopped and then the rodeo Collins had to kick him in the ass <laughs> and uh, get him to get bucking and going again. <laughs> this is not a good bull. <laughs> candy Crush, boo! But we saw a little bit of carnage, and it was awesome. Short of the eight second whistle. Hey, let's pay him off one more time. Bro. Fell off. Yeah, Cody. Fell off. Fell off. And my, actually, my favorite part was this guy fell off a bull, and a rodeo clown was running, and then decided to ride the guy. <laughs> got two rides there. We'll press them on. And then as we were walking out of the place, we found this mechanical arm wrestling device. And Carrie wanted to try it and she got annihilated. <laughs> and then we put on the easier level and she got annihilated again. And then I tried it thinking I was gonna be pretty awesome at it 
and I remembered my shoulder doesn't isn't so hot in it <laughs> me with really bad shoulder pain the rest of the drive home. So I got annihilated. It's stupid. We also did our good deed for the day. Uh, we saw a homeless man, and the guy asked us for some money. But I don't always like giving money to homeless people, because I don't know what they're gonna do with it. But I don't feel really good about giving food to people. Seems like a better idea, in my opinion. Can't buy drugs with food. Oh, don't he has a dog! But anyways, all we had was my jug of water. But he had a dog, and his dog looked thirsty, so we gave it to his dog. Oh, you're so beautiful. There you go. Take your time, take your time, there's a lot there. <laughs> now his dog's lips are quenched. Or his thirst is quenched. His lips are parched. His dog's not thirsty. All right, the meat went pretty good. Um, my whole intention was to do short approach or full approach if I was feeling good. I got there and I wasn't feeling so good. <laughs> so I did six lefts. Jacob Floors, the same kid who gave me that pink awesome artichoke shirt uh, was kind of helping me take video and catch steps and be my honorary coach for the day so thank you yeah I got all the sweet video for me but you can see in the video that I was running like my hips didn't want to work anymore everything was kind of low and wiggly <laughs> that's the best thing, thing I can call it I looked wiggly yeah but I got on the biggest pull I've ever been on again I got on that 16.8 uh, 490 and cleared 505 which is like 16.6 and then at 17 feet at 520 I went back to full approach and it just didn't work I should have just stayed at 6 failure on my part but it was a good outdoor practice meet that's what I'm gonna call it practice meet in Arizona every year we go to my grandma's house riding in a golf cart to go work scout Dry, we grab her golf clubs and they're always a little too small because my grandma's like five foot one. I have no idea. She's smaller than me, a lot smaller than me, and Carrie. Uh, we go to the driving range and let me tell you, it's fun. But <laughs> I'm not very good because I only drive golf balls once a year. Sometimes they slice, sometimes they curve, sometimes I would miss it completely and be embarrassed. So the first one I filmed, I really want to put a little bit of extra mustard on it. So what happened, Carrie? You hit the golf cart, actually. I hit it hard. Um, it went straight towards the car and just... I hit it as hard as I could, and it went straight into a dude's golf cart. And it didn't just hit the golf cart, it hit the golf cart oh, no. and then went ding, 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 And the old guy just jumped up into the air like, Woo! All you could see was me go, Oh, oh, sorry. That's not even the worst part. The worst part is, Sorry. this was a nice golf cart. It was like pimped out. Remember that show, Pimp My Rides? It was a pimped out golf cart. It had rims, like big old 13 inch rims that were solid platinum, it had speakers in the center. It had all sorts of, it wasn't a golf cart. It was like a smart car. What's up? It reminded me of that Mitch Hedberg joke. I play golf, I'm not good at golf. I never got good, I never got a hole in one, but I did hit a guy. <laughs> and that's way more satisfying. You're supposed to yell four, no. but I was too busy mumbling. There ain't no way that's gonna hit him. <laughs> I just hit that guy's golf cart over there. No, it literally just went straight towards it. <gasps> Whoopsies! The last thing we did before we left was we always give Carrie's stepdad, Mike, some kind of a surprise. Carrie's stepdad, Mike, is letting us stay in his apartment and we always surprise him with something. We got 500 balloons. That's just 30. Carrie's about a quarter through her bag. And this balloon is <laughs> stuck together. I call it booby balloons, I suppose. <laughs> oh, they're just sad. Sagging. And then we told him his TV was broken and told him to go check it out and we're sorry it broke his TV. That's how we got him into his room. Oh, <laughs> are you kidding me? How long did it take you to do that? Four hours. <laughs> 
I'm sleeping in there. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with your TV. <laughs> they don't come all that easy. <laughs> you got me. Yeah, I knew you grabbed that camera for some reason. Unreal. <laughs> Four hundred and twenty of them or something. Four hundred and twenty? <laughs> yep. <laughs> All blown up by mouth. I think we had more fun popping them than we did actually blowing them up. It took four hours to blow them up. It took four minutes to pop them off. <laughs> How many can I get? <laughs> I think me and Carrie enjoyed it more than Mike. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Almost fell. <laughs> this is kind of neat. <laughs> We're in balloons. All the balloons. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was my whale. Oh my dear lord. And we had to wash his car because it was filthy. We made it filthy. Carrie was sick of me by that point. And I just wanted to see how far I could push the limits. This is how I do car washes. Oh, we hit a unicorn! Carrie, you hit a unicorn! Woo! What? 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 You both speak Linux. No, I'm so scared. Ah! <laughs> we hit another unicorn, a mythological creature. We hit him good. He's dead. Uh oh, this is the worst part. Worst part. Arizona Trip Part 2 is over. Please subscribe, follow me on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. Do it. And check out the description below because there's lots of cool stuff in the description. I say that every time and I don't think you are. I'll check it out the description. And always subscribe. The subscribe button is awesome. My next bunch of meats. I'm heading to California this Saturday. I will be out there for a week with Bubba Sparks. I'm going to pick his brain. I'm going to pick it. So I'm gonna do Mount Sac, and then that next Wednesday, I get to jump at the Drake Mall Vault. I have been invited. I'm not gonna hold my breath because the Melrose shenanigans really destroyed me. So I am even keel. If it happens, awesome, because it's been on my bucket list for years, and if it doesn't, no big deal. But I hope it does, because I want to vault in the mall with Renault and Bjorn and Brad Walker. It will be awesome, it'll be so cool. And that next Saturday, I jump at the Drake Saturday Elite Meet. And then the week after that, I'll be in Colorado for a fun meet. And then I have nothing. I have nothing on the list, so if you guys know any meats you want me to go to, you should let me know, because I am trying to find some. <laughs> Everyone's always complaining there's not enough horse in the vlogs anymore. Goodbye. Nay. What's the best comparison you have between pole vault and other sports? In pole vault, you need two balls. Yeah, it's early. You're still in a heavy training cycle. You're gonna be fine. Yeah, I guess this is week five of my six week training cycle because I decided to do a six week training cycle instead of a three week with a rest week because I wanted to train through it. He's like, then stop being stupid. No, these days are gonna happen. I got it. I got my Happy Gilmore swinging for the day.
don't think what? That guy's car. Did I hit that guy? Is he mad? Is I don't know. Looking? Is he still looking? I have no idea. Good thing I got that on tape. I just hit that guy's golf cart over there. Oh, dude, he's checking it out. Nah.